drank a beer so I wouldn't be forced to babysit for my aunt. My aunt now 40 have three kids under the age of 10. At every family gathering I become the de facto babysitter despite me not wanting to so the adults can drink. It was her birthday dinner yesterday and my mom promised me that I wouldn't have to babysit and that the kids would be at a friend's house. The first step I take into their home is greeted by two isplitting screams about how much the kids missed me and one toddlery jodling. I immediately realize I might have been lied to. Normally I don't drink huge lightweight but since this was a special occasion I had made some plans. So my aunt enters the hall to greet my mom while I reach into my backpack and walk into the living room and crack one out of two 12 Viking beer I special ordered for me and my uncle he likes weird beer and we start drinking. About three minutes later my aunt sees the can and starts screaming at me for drinking while watching the kids I only hear distant screaming. I repeat my mom's promise and she calls me the R word when they are clearly staying here. So I reach out my hand and say 200 bucks for emergency babysitting and I won't finish this beer. She says H no so I chug the half liter can to the loud cheers and laughs from my dad and uncle. When I'm done I say birth happy day mommy sister with a burp. With my mom just looking hugely embarrassed for my aunt. My designated driver dad ends up watching them the entire night instead, I think he might schedule a vasectomy soon. When I was in the US Army I learned to open a beer as soon as I returned from work so they couldn't call me back in. Half the time I only took one sip, but I could honestly say I'd been drinking. Good for you. I had a different kind of petty. I told people that I would tell their kids their parents said they could get a puppy if they made me watch them. Only took once of them calling my bluff. Then they found out I wasn't bluffing. We had spent three hours looking for a puppy to adopt from local rescues. They then got to be the bad guy and say no puppy and deal with the hysterics and fallout. Never pushed me to do it again. I love how she wants you to do something for her and screams at you, an adult, as though that will convince you. LOL. I didn't realize it was possible to watch kids without drinking. Forced to babysit for three hours? Well that's just enough time to watch Frozen. Twice. Be prepared to hear Let It Go every day for the next month. It sounds like your aunt is incredibly entitled and potentially a bad parent. Had a co-worker get called in once because someone called out sick. He picks up the phone and says hold on a second, fis. I can't come in tonight, I'm drinking. That's okay, we need you to come in tomorrow night dude played himself. I knew of someone who pushed back by teaching the kids all the wrong colors. If only women did this more, they always bully them into free babysitting from their early teen years on. My sister would encourage me to open a bottle of wine while I was babysitting her kids, but it felt wrong to me. Toddlery jodelling is an amazing phrase, thank you for that. The kids seem to love you, but she should ask and pay for babysitting. Jesus, we talking the Harbo Viking 12 by any chance? Honestly can't imagine chugging that, it's actually awful. I'm impressed. Brilliant. Whenever you go over, bring beer for your uncle. Also your uncle really ought to be the one getting a vasectomy. Hopefully your dad ain't the baby daddy. Keep getting your mom to promise you won't have to babysit. Maybe see if any other cousins are open and have them make up business cards. You make some, too, but only the emergency $200 rate ones. Every time you're asked, it's a damn emergency. You got a beer to finish. My sister used to drop her kids off at my place all the damn time. We lived one block apart so I was too damn convenient. Her excuse was I was home and wasn't doing anything. I was a contract programmer and worked entirely from home. Trying to code mostly in assembly language with two toddlers in the house is so much fun. Also in not babysitting is a good enough response. Your aunt's reactions clearly shows that she invites you because of the free babysitter aspect, not because you're family. She can watch her own damn kids. You're an adult, and you want to hang with your adult family. Had a similar problem but the kiddos were a little older but. 
that their hardcore Christian mom wasn't happy about the kiddos learning how to play blackjack with the winners getting Coca-Cola for winning. Glorious Grinning Face Last time someone's child was foisted on me without my consent I took the opportunity to increase the kid's vocabulary. She was very happy to learn the words prolapse, anus, and cunnilingus. Forgive my ignorance, but what's the R word? Mommy sister face with tears of joy. Good on you. If she wanted a babysitter then she should have paid you or asked you beforehand. Here's an idea how about the people that pop the kids out, actually raise them, themselves it's not a sibling's cousins. Younger family members' responsibility to watch the kids you chose to have. Would have to get drunk on my days off so they couldn't call me in. Now my liver is shot, but oh well. I can't decide which part is not upsetting that your aunt regularly lies to your mom which makes her inadvertently lie to you, that your mom doesn't have your back on this to tell your aunt to stop using you as daycare, that your dad doesn't remind your mom or your aunt of their promises, that your aunt is so damn entitled, or that your uncle didn't arrange kiddie care so his wife could enjoy her birthday worry-free. Glad your dad played Dee Dee because that is some shit they pulled on you. Why do the kids need someone assigned to babysit when there's multiple adults at the house? At every party or gathering I've ever been to, all the adults just kinda cooperate to keep an eye on whatever kids are running around. But it's the parents' ultimate responsibility to watch them if no one else is paying attention for some reason. Good work, bro lol. They deserve it for treating you so badly. What's the R word? Good that it works for you. My family-in-law doesn't mind that the volunteer babysitter me drinks or not. They all skedaddle out of there anyway. Shoot loved when the adults started drinking around me. It's how I heard the good family stories like my aunt who got the shits in Morocco or which one did donuts in HS with my grandmother's car. LOL. This is also a great trick for when work tries to call you in on your off day. It was my day off so I started slamming vodka at 8am sorry. I'll never understand these type of family members. The cunt clearly wants free labor, and your mother allowed it she calling you names while already assuming you were there to watch the kids doesn't make you her nephew, it just makes you the free worker. I wonder if you'd be invited if she didn't need a babysitter, and if your mother doesn't say anything. I'm sorry, I've read it before but I don't know what the R word is. Anyway, none of my brothers use me for babysitting at parties, birthdays or the like. But I'm deaf going to do like OP and chuck a beer real f in quick if they try. I would have loved to see the shit-eating grin on your face that entire evening. Well done. This is what this sub is about. I always have my friend's kid Mountain Dew candy and Red Bull shots face with tears of joy face with tears of joy hey stop dumping kids on me. Don't allow yourself to be taken advantage of, especially family. 12 will knock anyone down, not just light weights. Birth happy day mommy sister. Man this got me, I wish I had aunt's uncle so I could use this LMAO. That's hilarious. Yeah, don't let people take advantage of you like that. H. You don't need to babysit us. Wow, how often has she called you such cruel names? And she demands you to work for her for free? I'm really sorry you and her kids have to live with that. It's not okay for her to say that to you. Proud of you. If you're this petty I can't wait to see what genius you come up with when you're old like me face with tears of joy I love this so much. Why couldn't her husband look after his their kids? That's a bit extreme. I just fed my nieces all the ice cream before dinner and never have they been dumped on me again. This is Reddit. You don't have to censor the word hell. What a toxic situation. I hate your aunt. This was freaking beautiful. I've taken to drinking me during special occasions to get out of situations I shouldn't have to be in. If you force me to watch your kids, I'm giving them energy drinks and teaching them racial slurs.